As New York's governor calls for 40 million face shields to keep doctors and nurses safe, providers here where the pandemic isn't hitting as hard are worried they'll soon face the same need. Jennifer Cleasy shows us how the community is pulling together to find a solution to a supply shortage. With every staple and sticker, these sheets of plastic become protection for our healthcare workers. It's really a large craft project when you look at the materials involved. Staff at Midwest Prototyping in Blue Mounds are hard at work making face shields for hospitals. By the end of the week, we intend to have the kits on hand to make several thousand of these pretty quickly. In less than a week, this assembly line has put together about a thousand face shields, but they're just ramping up. They expect to be able to do a million in the next month, and they are just one of many companies stepping up to do this. After the kids went to bed, I went to Home Depot and some craft stores and put together a first prototype. UW-Madison engineer Lennon Rogers came up with the idea after hearing about shortages at the hospital. With help from a design agency, his team has made the plants available now for free online. It's being replicated now all over the world. How big do you think this could get? Most people are thinking anywhere from you know, the hundreds of thousands to a million of that would be made by each of these different partners. We're using hundreds of face shields a day, thousands of masks. UW Health was ready for the help after seeing shipments of protective gear suddenly stop. So then you start calculating what we call days of supply on hand. And when it starts getting down to single digits, you start to get concerned. But this help could be the answer as a community builds a solution one shield at a time. We all have friends in health care. We all have relatives in health care. This is just an opportunity to, to try and uh, get them home safe at the end of the day. In Blue Mounds, Jennifer Cleasy, 27 News.